Are you recording? Yeah. It's Black Wednesday, which means it's time for a Black Wednesday special edition of Watch This Instead, our disrespectfully uh, named tribute episode in honor of Black Friday, uh, which is coming up on Friday, which is the American National Day of Mourning and uh, Bargain Shopping, uh, named Black Friday in honor of the people that died in the great Walmart uh, step-on disaster, and in honor of the brave sacrifice of all those people that wanted only to have discount napkins in time for regular Saturday, we present to you the Black Friday edition of Watch This Instead. There's four big releases, a fifth if you count Rise of the Guardians, but I'm not going to be talking about that because that's a kid's animated movie. and. You're not, no, there's nobody on earth who's cross-shopping Red Dawn and Rise of the Guardians. And if you are, you're schizophrenic and not who I'm talking to anyway. So, what you need to know for those... Here's my... So, what you need to know for those four movies is... What kind of headspace are you in? I'm going to break them all down for you and tell you which one you should see. Where are you going to spend your movie-going dollar this American Thanksgiving? Hey, do you find yourself pausing in the mall in front of those fountains that where the water spins the ball like this, and you look at it and you think, man, that's the power of God in that thing. The Life of Pi is exactly like that, and if you're in the mood for that, you're gonna love it. It's really beautiful. It's 3D, there's a bunch of animals, it, there's a bunch of drama, and at the end, it they say, just like God, so you can feel kind of some kind of pan-spiritual awakening as the sun goes down uh, and everybody in the Middle East kills themselves and each other. If you're in the mood for a remake of a truly inexplicably popular 80s action movie, a paranoiac's fantasy from 1984 in which the Soviets invaded a small town America and were fought off by a bunch of high school kids in the woods, watch the remake of John Milius's Red Dawn, which this time posits that somebody, it doesn't matter who, because it's so impossibly unlikely that they actually change the identity of the invading army in post-production from Chinese to North Korean. Because hey, what, what difference does it make? One or the other. Go see that piece of shit. If you're vaguely curious about the history of Hollywood and want to know some kind of weird, you know, micron thin fantasy, you know, filmmaker positing what was going on inside Hitchcock's marriage and mind during the production of Psycho, which is getting torn to pieces by actual film historians who say it has nothing to do with reality, but is nonetheless kind of entertaining in a deeply gross watching Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, Anthony Hopkins in a fat suit eating can after can of foie gras from France. Go see Hitchcock! But if you are in the mood for something that's truly transcendent and not in a I believe in every god kind of way, that's dramatic and not in a hey we're being invaded by uh, Asian people from a country for a reason, and if you're interested in the work of an actual auteur who's working now, not one that's been dead and fat for a really long time, go see Silver Linings Playbook, which is my favorite movie of the year. It stars Jennifer Lawrence, who's the best young actress working, and Bradley Cooper, who I didn't know was so good, but you will know, as I do, when you see him, what he can actually do in the hands of a guy like David O. Russell, who's back directing quirky, not even really difficult, but difficult on paper, uh, alt comedies about family and you know people with fracturing bipolar psyches that are rubbing up against each other in positive and negative ways. It's immensely entertaining. It's inspirational as somebody that likes movies and gets kind of depressed about the current state of what's being released. It's a genius piece of work. It's my favorite film of his, and I'm really glad he's back working in this kind of territory after taking some time out to get a whole bunch of Oscar nominations for The Fighter. It's by far the best film coming out this week, although I haven't seen Rise of the Guardians, but I can't imagine that it even compares. So go see Silver Lining instead. And happy Thanksgiving to all of our Americans. Stay safe on Friday. Nintendo's not worth dying for. Just take care of each other out there. And Canadians, enjoy a regular weekend. And congratulations for nothing. <laughs>